The landscape company True Green drove heavy equipment over my landscaping bricks and broke them and at first acknowledged the problem and promised to repair them, but then um, not only did absolutely nothing in the way of repairing, but has completely ignored all of my requests that they make good on their promise ever since. I was not a True Green customer. True Green was working on a property five houses down from mine, and our houses are along a small residential street, and the properties back up to a fairly major street. So apparently they had a large, I guess it's some kind of aerator type truck, um, not like a riding lawnmower, but even bigger, and big heavy thing which he could not get through the gate of their customers to do their backyard. So he drove it down the street to my property is on the corner and along, he drove it actually on the sidewalk, it's not street legal, so he didn't drive it in the street, which could have been the problem. He drove it on the sidewalk and it being too wide to fit in the gate, it was also too wide to fit on the sidewalk and was going over the big heavy tires were going on the grass of the other properties which was okay because they were grass. On my property I have bricks along the edge set up on point so as he drove and was too wide to fit on the sidewalk he drove this big heavy truck over top of my bricks and was breaking each one as he went along and I was outside working on my yard and heard this and looked up and saw him and said, wait, you know, wait a minute, but with the loud heavy machine, he didn't hear me. So I walked down the street to where the neighbors were, the, to where his co-workers were working on the neighbor's property and got the information from them. And they said, yes, we heard him. We couldn't understand why he didn't stop and back up and go down a driveway and go off the bricks, but he went all the way down the length of the property and um, so then they went to the backyard, they got him. He said, oh, I'm so sorry. I was going to come on and get you after I finished here and tell you that I broke your bricks and I'm sorry and I'll fix them. So then as he, came, as he was finished, he came around, drove past it again. He did drive in the street this time. And then he pulled up and stopped. He looked at all the bricks. He photographed them with his cell phone. He counted them with me, and there was a total of 10 bricks that were broken. There were probably some more that were cracked, but I said, you know, just, he said, I'll fix them. I said, you know, you can't fix bricks, right? You just have to replace them. And he said, yes, we'll replace them. And I said, it's called old moss is the style. So I thought everything was fine. He said he was having a conversation with his manager tomorrow and that he or the manager would get back to me. Never heard from him again. I started calling and um, I have a whole list of the number of times I called and spoke to either the manager or to a customer service rep and every time they said they'll get back to me until finally I had put a complaint um, one month later. I had put a complaint on the Better Business Bureau and then he called me back and said that it was not his driver's fault at all, that a neighbor said those bricks were already broken. And I said, what neighbor? He didn't know which neighbor. And I said, was it the one for whom you were working because they weren't home at the time and they were five houses away, they probably didn't see it. And he said, they were five houses away? So he had absolutely no idea of the situation of what was going on or anything. Since he had already said to Better Business Bureau that the quote neighbor, the unnamed neighbor said there was no problem, Better Business Bureau said, okay, well that's fine. He says there's not a problem. So then I put it on your site, and then um, someone called uh, right away, a couple days later it was, um, 
from the corporate headquarters and said that um, they will call the manager and the manager should have two days to get back to me and they'll call back in two days just to make sure he has. And it was actually four days when that manager called me back and he still hadn't. So that's where it still is. There's nothing that's been done from them yet. Uh, well, two things. I want to have them fix what they broke, but then I also want people to know. Other people should be able to know that it's that kind of company. Because, you know, if you go to look somebody up and on the Better Business Bureau to see if they have any complaints about them, and they don't because the Better Business Bureau won't take complaints if they've paid for a good review on it, then how the next consumer is going to get duped. You know, so I think it's great that there's a place people can go and look up the way companies really are. Fix the, fix the bricks that they broke, which I asked them to do. And um, I'm not sure at this point because I'm a little pissed that it, they've been ignoring me for so long and that it's been so much of my time and effort to get them to make good on what they've destroyed. But um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> they, would, they would definitely have to fix them and make it look like it did before they came with the same variety of bricks, not, a, not do a halfway job of fixing it, but truly fix it. And um, I don't know, maybe, maybe give me something else for my effort for as a way of apology. Mm -hmm.